Anyway, so I'm uh, Corey Livingood. I'm the uh, lead artisan here uh, building the ice castle. If you wanted to start your own ice castle at home, it's something that you might want to make sure you're ready for. There's a lot of equipment involved, a lot of water. Um, we use about 10 to 15 million gallons of water to make this one. You'll uh, want to make sure, like I said, you have some sort of spikes, you want a helmet, picks, shovels, sleds, uh, and definitely warm waterproof gloves. So to start off, we, we ran sprinklers around the entire place, uh, about seven or eight kilometers worth. Uh, we grow icicles on racks, and then that gets completely covered by ice once we start building. We hand pick those icicles, bring them out here, where we place them around some of those sprinklers I was talking about, and then we spray on them at night. Uh, the, the spray accumulates on the icicles and makes them grow a little larger. As they grow, we come out and we place more icicles on top of those and uh, continue that process over and over. So in order to continually build up on the castle, we're climbing up to the places that we need to to build. Um, when we place the icicles, we use a little bit of slush and we bring that up in a bucket and uh, it's basically just a snow and water mixture. The uh, icicles we place, we carry those up in bags and uh, a hand pick is usually used, pretty useful in these kind of situations. And then in order to even climb on the ice, we, uh, we wear crampons and helmets. You can say we're pretty much icicle farmers in that we grow icicles, we harvest them, we bring them out and transplant them, and then they continue to grow in their new location. E each castle is different, but we, we've estimated in the past that the ice castle typically weighs around 30,000 tons um, for our normal size castle. It, what I like to uh, accomplish when we're building the castle is a magical feeling. Uh, you're, you're leaving the city of Edmonton and you're going into an ice wonderland. So we, we try to build the walls in a way that you can't see outside. We want you to, to feel like you've entered a different world. This is the sixth castle I've worked on. It's still incredible. 